definitely need to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to share with you a really great way to take amazing photos for your online boutique, girl. Ooh, is she I'm back today with another video so thank you guys so much for supporting my channel leaving comments sharing my videos like and subscribing all of that great stuff I really really appreciate it in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to take some amazing photos for your online boutique I know that when you first start your online store you don't have any photos all you have to rely on are those ugly stock photos from Aliexpress or Amazon Walmart wherever you're drop shipping from might always text me every time I record. I just today's video, guys. I'm gonna talk to you about how to, I guess, uh, develop content for your social media pages. So when you first start your business, of course, you aren't gonna have any photos. All you're gonna have is the stock photos. What most people who actually have a drop shipping store do is they use AliExpress or Amazon or some big reliable website where they can get products for cheap. They upload those products into their stores and they sell them to their consumers at a markup. So when you first start, all you're going to have is the stock photos from whatever website you're using. And so it's like, how do you create a social media page with no photos, no content, you know? Um, and you definitely, definitely, definitely need to have an Instagram and a Facebook for your business. The first thing people do when they see your your business, um, if they find you on Google or something, they're going to go to your social media pages to kind of verify like if you are a real business or not. So it's important for you to have content and not only just content, you want to have pictures and photos and, you know, creative little things that you can put on your social media page to engage, to, to get people engaged with your business, with your brand. Every time I record. But anyway, guys, so um, this is just like a really simple way that I started taking photos for my online store. Um, because I quickly realized posting these stock photos was not working. You know, I was posting the photos, the items were really, really cute, and people were kind of interested in them. But it's something about being able to bring products to life, you know, to give them a story, uh, to make a customer feel like this is a real item. So when you first start your business, you're going to have to allocate some of your budget to buy a few products, okay? And if you're using AliExpress to drop ship products to your customers, the products don't cost that much. So take about $30, $40, buy a few items, and take your own photos. This is some advice that no one was talking about years ago. You know, it was just like people were just taking pictures from AliExpress, posting them, and it was working. So when I came into the business of drop shipping, that wasn't working anymore, you know? So I had to order some products from AliExpress and the nice part was I got to see how long they actually took to ship from China to me here in Virginia. And then I also got to experience the quality of the items for myself. And I was very, very pleased, which is why I continued to sell them. And so it's just nice being able to touch and feel and see the products. And then what I'm going to show you today will help you to bring these products to life. And customers are going to go absolutely crazy for these photos. Okay, guys. So when taking your own photos, you're definitely going to need a tripod. It just makes things a lot easier. And so this is the one that I got. It's for my iPhone. And it's from Amazon. The thing I like most about it is that it's portable so you can adjust it to different heights it even goes down to be a selfie stick if need be you can take this with you anywhere it comes with a carrying case and then it also has a remote which i think is in the car right now so you definitely need this um if you're taking photos for your online boutique you can take pictures of yourself with your iphone on a timer and get some really nice high quality photos so i definitely recommend you to get it and you can just uh click the link down in my description box to take you to my amazon store so guys my online store um actually sells clothes so what i like to do is i have a steamer and this steamer i was sent i was gifted from somebody it was an amazon seller so i 
forgive me I don't remember how much it was if I can find the link I'll link it on my Amazon store but since I sell clothes what I like to do is take the clothes and then I like to take my steamer just to make sure you know I got all the wrinkles out and then I take a um, lint roller get any lint or dog hair or anything that may be on the clothes because what you want to do is just make sure the clothes look their absolute best so you don't want to have any dog hair debris wrinkles or anything because we want to take the best looking photos as we can so definitely take your time you know don't rush to get stuff out there you really want your products looking the best so that they can attract customers this next step is where you want to get creative I picked up a couple of different prop items I found these at Ross and all they are are wooden they are um, they're actually like kitchen mats like memory foam kitchen maps mats but they look like wood so right now they're kind of hard because they were in the attic folded up so they just need to adjust to room temperature so guys what i did was i actually went to different stores like dollar tree hobby lobby all these different places and i ordered um different items to help style the photos so oh these are just some of the items that i have so what i like to do is just set up different sceneries have the mats down and then what i like to do is just get creative so i have some dinosaurs because i have a couple of dinosaur outfits and i'm going to use these for props in one of the photos and these are just from the dollar tree you could spray paint these white whatever color you needed them to be but i just left them the color that they are um, I have this little arrow from Hobby Lobby. This plant is from my bathroom. And then this little cactus is from Hobby Lobby. So since it's a cactus outfit, uh, we're just gonna play around with the layout some. Okay guys, so now we have the scene all set up and I'm going to show you how I actually utilize my iPhone to take pictures. And so this is what we what I do. First of all, like I said, you want to make sure it's daytime. What I like to do is take my iPhone and make sure I got it pretty much all the way in the picture. And then I'm going to show you guys. So this is the picture that we got. And so keep in mind, I don't even have daylight right now, guys. That looks really, really good for there not even to be daylight. So you can play around with the settings, like play with the exposure, make it darker, make it lighter. And so I would just go through, play with all of this stuff until... I got my picture looking how I want it to look and then I will go in and crop it I'll go in and crop the photo so you can't see the background or anything and then we're gonna rotate this shank crop that crop that somewhere and so now nobody will even know this picture was taken in my bedroom on a mat. Did you absolutely love it? I know I did. I think that flat lay is super cute. Can't wait to post it on my business's Instagram account and hopefully get some sales. So happy that y'all made it to the end of this video. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope that this helped you. And if you thought that this flat lay was super cute and a great idea that you can implement 
in your online boutique, make sure you leave comments down below. If you guys like these little insider videos, let me know. I'm considering starting a series on my channel. I haven't seen too many people making videos about being a online boutique owner. So I was thinking maybe it's something that I could keep doing. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.